is the uh, one that every actor, what's the one that the, I'm trying to think of, Eugene O'Neill's famous play. Can you think of it? Uh, long Day's Journey. Long Day's Journey, yes. I'm glad you remembered. That's a great play. Well, let's give it a rest. You want to give it? Huh? You don't want to rest? Well, what about, I wanted to ask you about, uh, what? Well, your feelings on finance. <laughs> well, Evan, finance. What kind of advice would you give? Oh, yes. About that? Well, well yeah, if you ask me about uh, advice on uh, finance, the, the famous saying is buy low and sell high, but I don't believe in that. I think you sometimes have to buy low and hold on to it if it's a good the stock you're buying. I've been lucky in uh, picking certain stocks that uh, somehow grew through the years because I felt the companies and the management in there was capable. And even in the, uh, the management, you sometimes say, these people that are holding down these management jobs or their heads of the company, they're all drawing big salaries. And if they're drawing big salaries, they have to protect their their salaries. And you also got to think of it this way. In a company where a, a president or vice president or secretary all the way down to the, the, they all own stock in the company. And they know if they can raise the price of the stock, the common stock, we'll say they own, we'll, we'll start with a present, we'll say he owns uh, 100,000 shares of the stock. It's worth, we'll say at a certain day, it's worth $5 a share. And this 100,000 shares is worth $500,000. He knows if he can make that company so successful and all the other people with him, no, having a certain amount of stock, can raise that price $5 a share more, he'd become worth a million dollars in each one along the line. So they have to look out to build a company. Now, if you get pay, uh, companies like that where they're just as hungry as the, uh, the, the average man that has 100 shares or 50 shares, they, they look at it a different way. So I've been very fortunate in looking at the, the people behind the company, also what the company is doing. If they're making a product that the public is using and they're making a good product and it's used daily or weekly or monthly, it's a repetition of the product. And as they keep building and get more people, the company grows. And that's the way I've been looking at companies when I buy stock. And I've been lucky in picking companies like that. And fortunately, fortunately by uh, being successful in uh, stocks, I've been able to buy books that I wanted over the years. So I've been pretty lucky, I'd say. Lucky? What do you think you're, you're well, I... Well, I'd say work hard and be lucky uh, go together. And people that are working hard usually are lucky. It works their way, too. In other words, I, I, I don't know what else to tell you, unless you can think of something that... Uh, well, I, should, I wanted to ask you about your uh, stuff, the family history. You can maybe shed some light on the Denenberg uh, history. Your, your, oh. your parents, what, what do you know about them and what do you know about... They're, they're well, I tell you, it's a good question. You're asking me about my heritage. I can go, I can only go as far back as my mother and father, because when they left Russia, which I figured out was during about McKinley's time. I don't know what year that was, when they came to America, and. Uh, they had to leave their parents, and I doubt if they ever knew what happened to their own parents, which would have been my grandparents. 
but they they never they never knew how to read or write, so they never wrote or got any letters back or forth, and I think that was a, a very